welcome back. It's been a week since I've been back from Metrocon. Uh, I had a really good time. I'm gonna be talking about it in this video in great detail, but if you wanna hear a more condensed version, um, later in the week, the episode in which I talked about it on the anime podcast will be going up around, I wanna say Friday. Our schedule's been iffy. I don't really know. It should be up though, um, so if you want to check that out, uh, you can. This, however, will be a little bit more in detail. Uh, I didn't want to, you know, just ramble on and on for like three hours, <laughs> as I imagine I probably will hear. But, uh, yeah, go do that. I wanted to plug my podcast that I'm on every week. So before I wanted to start this, I wanted to, I guess, preface. This was supposed to be a, um, a travel vlog, I guess. I initially was like, oh, I'm gonna take my camera and like film everything. I didn't film anything. I didn't, I filmed like the first five minutes of us being at the hotel room and it's like, not even that, it's like a 10 second clip of me like, being like, here's where we're staying, peace. Um, I wanted to film some panels. This camera, it was a sweet little baby camera. It's really loud, and I pulled it out the first panel I went to, and it it chimed, and I was embarrassed, and it was really loud when it shut down, and I was like, I can't just be pulling this out every time I'm I'm gonna be doing something, so I just I didn't. I also didn't take any pictures, um, besides like at signings, which was also real on my bad, but um, I'll insert whatever pictures I have at some point whenever it's necessary in the video. Uh, but I just wanted, I wanted to, I wanted to preface the stories, uh, with the, this wasn't the video I wanted to make where I ramble for, like, 20 minutes plus time, uh, but, you, we should have, we should have expected this. We know that, right? So Metrocon wasn't my first con that I've been to, um, if you remember, if you've been around a couple years ago, I went to Nandezukan in Denver, Colorado. Um, I only went for one day there. This time I went for three days. Um, totally different experience. Such a better experience. Uh, much more organized. Um, much more... Uh, everybody was a lot friendlier. Uh, I just, it was just a better time overall. It wasn't super crowded. It was very spaced out. It was very roomy, you didn't feel like you needed to be rushing to get anywhere, which was really nice. I didn't feel that at all, no matter if I was, well, when I was going to a signing, maybe, maybe I should have been a bit quicker, uh, but, you know, getting to a panel, I didn't feel the need to be there, like, an hour and a half early, and I can't say the same for NDK. I really hope they actually got that issue fixed since the last time I went since they had, they'd switched hotels, and I know they were going through a whole, a whole bunch. Um, but this was such a better experience just in general. I'm going to be starting from the beginning from when we left because it's kind of a, I mentioned this on the podcast, we had a little bit of a, a little bit of a crazy ride to get there and just to get to the convention center at all. So we left a uh, Thursday night at like 8pm. Uh, Tampa's not too far from here so we didn't feel the need to like, you know, it was too far to leave in the morning of, but too, but like, it was too close to have to leave super early, so we ended up going kind of at night. Uh, we got dinner, that was fine. The drive was really nice. Uh, it wasn't too bad or anything. Uh, the problem started when we got to the hotel. So my stepdad had been working in the area, uh, not anywhere near where we needed to be, but in Tampa. And we pulled up to this quality inn. The first thing when we pulled up was that there was a burning smell in the air and it turns out one of the things it was either like a trash can or like a cigarette thing had like been burning for quite some time and there was a guy out there who just never felt the need to like tell the staff or tell anybody that it was happening and that was kind of concerning and should have been the first sign that this hotel was not going to be a good night that we were going to be experiencing. They got that taken care of, we got inside, and so we get to the room. The room itself was really nice, however, not fit for three people because, it, okay, so I need, so there was the bed, right? And in some hotel suites, there's like a, there's a couch. And in some couches, as you may have slept on before, there are pull-out couches. Now, the comfiness varies 
between couches greatly. We used to have one when we had company over and it was not actually that bad to sleep on. This was not one of those beds. We tried to pat it down. We didn't bring like a bunch of blankets or anything. And we tried our best. And it, even with the few things that we had, you could like, as soon as you laid down on it, you could like feel the springs. Bad, it was real bad, guys. It was, I probably would have been more comfortable sleeping on the floor. I didn't get much sleep that night. I ended up getting like, uh, four and a half hours. I fell asleep maybe at two. And then got up at like 6.30. Wasn't a big fan. Wasn't, wasn't too happy about it. Uh, and I think my lack of sleep ended up contributing to the massive headache I got the next day. So at, fast forward to actual con day. We, so we get all, we're all ready. We're ready, to, we're just ready to get out there and go. And we need a ride because my stepdad is at work and he, or he needed to, he needed to drive back. He wasn't around and we needed to get a ride. And you would not believe, actually I should have, I actually really should have expected that it was going to be really hard to get a ride there. Um, because not a lot of places will transport wheelchairs. We called through, like, I'm gonna say at least five or six numbers. Um, most of them were disconnected and didn't exist. And the final place that we got to, they told us we needed to call 24 hours in advance and we had only been in Tampa, I would say less than 12 hours. So that was not great. Uh, they did come and get us. We waited like 45 minutes to an hour when they told us it was only like 30 minutes to get there. Which wasn't great, but our driver was really nice, and uh, it didn't take long to actually get there. It was like eight minutes down the road, and probably, I don't, it, you know, we could have left and walked and probably got there at the same time to be honest. Uh, when we get to the hotel, we were afraid they weren't going to let us check in, um, but uh, they were really nice. And they, uh, we had initially upgraded the room because we thought that we were going to need to. We didn't, and they gave us the upgrade anyway. And that was really nice of them. Uh, got all of our stuff and we finally head to the con. And whoo, ooh, this is where things get real fun. This entire day I had that massive, massive headache. And I also hadn't eaten, which was probably not the greatest thing. We didn't eat until, I would probably say noon and hadn't really eaten most of the time that we had been in Tampa, which was a mistake. Mistake number probably three of the ones that we had already made so far. Ugh. Once we uh, were almost told to go the wrong way to get our badges, because the people that weren't there told us to go to the wrong floor, um, we got to the food court area. The food court? <laughs> the food court area, and uh, I I knew I knew it was gonna be expensive to get food there. Didn't know it was gonna be like ten dollars to get like a burger and also three dollars to get a fountain drink and not worth it. Not worth it. We ended up getting a lot of water. Um which you also had to pay for, which was uh, really and stupidly expensive. <sighs> We're definitely coming a bit more prepared and we kind of became a little bit more prepared the next couple days, but we didn't really have a choice and kind of just got what was there. Uh, the food was abysmal, not great, and it wasn't worth $10. Uh, and we finally made our way to our next panel. I ended up going to a lot of panels. Um, that was probably the main draw for me was to see a bunch of the people there. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, there wasn't a problem with lines, which I was, uh, I was think oh, so thankful for, uh, since that had been such a big thing. We were so early, I guess. In fact, we got there, I would say, a good 30 minutes early. It was, the panel was at 1. Uh, we got there at 12.30, and me and a couple other girls that I ended up becoming friends with, uh, they were sisters, uh, Meg and Jen. Uh, they were uh, wondering which room we needed to be in because the rooms 13 through 15 were all the same room, but they were all different doors, and we didn't... We didn't know. We didn't know where we needed to be, and we ended up kind of making the line for the panel. And I ended up uh, seeing them all weekend, and they were so great. And I might get to see them again at EXP if I convince them. The panel we ended up starting the line for was for Max Menowin, who is Saitama and One Punch Man, and is Yuji in Persona 5, and Kose from Your Line, April, and a bunch of others. That panel was really fun, and it's sort of where 
I, my headache was kind of slight, and then it slowly evolved into something that was uh, very quickly sticking around, and I was like, oh no, not today. And it was like, yes, today, and it was kind of sticking around then. Um, that panel was amazing. Um, all the panels I'm going to be talking about are online, actually. I will link them down below if you want to watch them, because they were all incredible. So funny. Everybody there was just, mwah, so good. So good at their jobs. Uh, and I, it was such a good time. After that, uh, I ended up seeing Mary Elizabeth McGillan and Steve Bloom, who had a panel together. Uh, I didn't know they were together, which was very cute, and they had such great chemistry, and I loved seeing them together, even though I wasn't super familiar with what... Like, obviously, I knew who they were. I just wasn't super familiar with, like, each and every one of these characters, like a lot of people were. Um, super enjoyable to listen to, super funny. Um, they ended up being late to their panel, from what I remember, uh, because of signings, and signings were crazy. I'll get to that. Oh, God, guys, I'll get to that at some point. Um, so good. So funny. Uh, and then we ended up sort of taking a break, I believe, after that, uh, because we were waiting until 5 to see Ray Chase, who is Noctis uh, in Final Fantasy XV. So the way that the convention center was set up was that there was, like, a little sitting area, and my headache was pounding by the time that panel was over, so we sort of ended up kind of chilling out in there, drinking like lots of water, hoping to like get something out of there. I didn't bring any medicine with me for some reason, like an idiot. Um, but we sort of chilled in the area, kind of managed to get it to go down a little bit. Um, and then Scott McNeil came in through the, um, there was like a door that looks people weren't allowed to come in through, and I think it was mostly for VIP people uh, that were not, not VIP badges, but for actual guests coming in and he stopped to talk to us and I didn't know who he was at first. Then I found out that he was Koga in Inuyasha and a lot of things made sense after that. We finally got to see Ray Chase after that. Uh, my headache was in full swing. It was terrible and I it was so upset that I couldn't fully appreciate everything that was going on, uh, but it was a great time. He's uh, a lot more laid back, I would say, of the trio of the Lava uh, Boys. Uh, but I enjoy him so much, and he's so great and incredible and so talented, and I, I cannot say enough. I was actually kind of mean to them when I met them. Not mean. Uh, the, on the podcast, they were like, you're so sundere, and I was like, I was. I was incredibly sundere because I was incredibly, like, snarky with them for some reason. Uh, I think I was just trying to be funny, and they took to it most of the time, which was great. Um... But I cannot say enough nice things about them, and I'll say them all later. Um, but that panel was amazing and um, a lot more informative than I would have initially not have gone into thinking about. Um, but it was great. However, it was not as great because I couldn't focus on anything. And we left as soon as it was over. And uh, I got to the hotel room and immediately threw up, which was not great. I sort of chilled out in there, and then my mom and I finally got food. Um, and it was fine. I sort of snacked a little bit, and then we uh, hung out outside on the little balcony at the hotel, and who there is a burp coming out and wanting to happen. Not today. So that kind of uh, got day one out of the way. Uh, it was pretty short, to be honest, because we got there so late, and then we just... <laughs> the headache, the headache ruined it. However, day two, there was no headache, and I was so glad, um, and it was great and was our busy history. Initially, we had plans to go to the signing on the uh, first, I would say, full day that they, we were there. Um, the signing started at 11. We got there at 10.30, and that was not early enough, we found out. Um, the, the, the lines for the signings were interesting. Um, they were line capped for what most of us, I think, thought were very early. Uh, but people have been lining up since 9 a.m. And I was like, that's so early to be here. I was getting up at 7 and getting there at, like, you know, needing to, like, wake up a little bit and get dressed and get, like, some sort of substance in my stomach. 
these people just booked it. And I was like, God, you are stronger people than me. And I continued to think that because I didn't do it the second day I went to the signing either. Uh, so we got line capped and then uh, the lady there kind of told us that we would be able to get in later at the second signing of the day. And we were like, oh, okay, we didn't really want to because it was right after their panel. It was fine. We ended up doing it anyway, and because we didn't really have a choice. We ended up uh, sort of chilling out in the food court area on the third floor, which was autographs and vendors hall and artist alley, sort of all. Uh, what I thought was going to be very smushed together wasn't at all. Huge room. Tampa Convention Center is so gigantic, and they used their space very well, and nothing felt like... There were a couple parts that felt a little crowded, just kind of because everybody was, you know, huddled around tables and wanting to see everything up, but it wasn't overwhelming, which I thought was really nice, and I definitely just had to be like, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, and they moved, and that was very, that gave me a lot of power. We didn't really have much to do uh, until the panel we were going to at once, so we ended up kind of, uh, getting in, in and seeing a bunch of other panels and we ended up seeing uh, Marilyn with McGillan's uh, solo panel and she is so funny and she called us out the minute we walked in. We ended up, we needed to sit in the front just because I was so short and if I sat in the back, I wasn't gonna see, I wasn't gonna see anything. It just wasn't gonna happen. So we ended up kind of being in the front area where it was actually very empty and she was like, nice of you to make it. And I was, kind of embarrassed but she was very nice about it it was very funny and she was actually like it was it wasn't a, it was a mean call out it was a nice like good that you can make it call out um but i'm glad if anybody was going to call me out it was going to be the major so i was totally cool with it and then we ended up seeing her multiple times i think that day and we kind of waved and said hi and she was great after that we saw christina v uh from uh, Sailor Mars, uh, as, sa uh, sa as Sailor Mars from Sailor Moon and, uh, Marionette from Miraculous Ladybug, and they went to battle, was there, uh, on the panel with her, which was, um, interesting. It, I didn't know what was going on, mostly because I don't really follow Miraculous, um, but I enjoyed her. I thought she was really cute and really funny. And it was it was a nice, um, relaxing panel, I would say. Especially for the panels that we ended up going to later, which were very loud and very hyperactive. And lots of things were going on. So it was nice to kind of have like a, almost like a, like a chill, like a chill panel. And it was, I loved it. It was so good. Finally, we got to see uh, the trio, the lava trio of Robbie Damon, who is a catchy in Persona 5, and Prompto from Final Fantasy 15, and uh, Tuxedo Mask from Sailor Moon, of course, and a bunch of other things. They're all in a bunch of other things. I'm just like, what are the most, what are the most like well-known roles that I can remember right off the top of my head? The collaborative trio of them is probably one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my entire life. I just love seeing them interact and seeing them bounce off each other. I've never seen a group of people have such good chemistry before and it's such fun to watch. And it's so fun to, you know, have them tease each other and see that and see that they're all very good friends, which I feel like you always hear about, you know, everybody has to fake being nice to each other and fake, be friendly with each other. And it was so genuine. And I feel like if I was to describe any of the three of them with a word, it would be genuine as well as many others. But it just, it was so real and it was so fun and it was just so lighthearted that... It ended up being probably one of my favorite panels, if not my absolute favorite one. And it was just, I, my mother was in tears and I was like, thank God, you understand now, you get it. After the panel was uh, the signing directly after, and that's where it got a little stressful, um, cause uh, basically everybody had to pull down there if they wanted to get there. Um, and we ended up kind of talking to, uh, I don't know what the specific name, I, I kind of just referred to them as like their handlers, like the guys that were like with them specifically uh, just throughout the con. And the guy was like, oh, yeah, I can totally get you in. Super nice. Uh, we ended up getting uh, first in line and then uh, we ended up finally getting to meet.
I would have prefaced this with at this point. I feel only we when I say we came a little bit more prepared uh, to uh, Saturday. I almost said Tuesday. When I say that we came a little bit more prepared Saturday, um, I mean that in that we went to the vending machine and got like those peanut butter crackers you get in school and like in um like in hospitals like vending machines and like a bag of chips uh like something you would get like at your hotel room just for a little, a little snack and my mom got like a cinnamon so we were kind of uh starving by the time uh 2 15 2 30 rolled around the way they ended up doing the lens was that they would pair you with a certain person uh just to kind of get the ball rolling and then most of the time they would either send you all the way back to somebody else's line or you could just kind of like scooch your way down just depending on how it was they ended up pairing me with robbie first and i think <laughs> the first thing uh besides hi and then it was uh nice to see you and that it was okay that you guys were taking so long uh was that when I actually finally went up to him, I told him, uh, you're holding up my lunch time, and he laughed. And <laughs> there were a lot of things like that where it was, like, little quips that was, like, M I probably could have, like, not said that, but it was just, na it was natural for me to, like, immediately be like, yeah, God, I just, I, I've been waiting. Me had me waiting so long. And, uh, luckily all of those turned out in not a bad way, and, uh, I thank God for that every day now. The three of them were super nice to me, and, uh, I ended up getting to chit-chat with them, because you always do when you kind of get up there, and they were all super nice. The, um, when Robbie was signing my poster, I ended up getting a, a free prints from them, which was really nice of them. They definitely didn't have to, um, even though my mom uh, kind of bullied them into it, which was kind of funny, um, they, uh, Robbie had asked how to, he wanted to make sure he didn't spell my name wrong, and I was like, I'm not mostly worried about you, I'm mostly worried about Ray, who in turn was like, what? <laughs> and, um, I was like, I'm, you know, I'm worried about you spelling my name, because I know you have a reputation. And I felt bad, because I think... I did, I felt like I kind of like got into his head a little bit about it because he ended up asking me a couple times how to spell it and I, I felt really bad because he was so nice about it. Um, but we ended up uh, having a little chat and he was super cool. And they finally shoved me on down to Max who was super funny and I probably was the meanest to um, when we had been kind of talking and he had asked me if it was my, my one day at the con and I was like, well, no, I got a weekend pass, I was here yesterday, and he was like, oh, and I was like, yeah, I was, I mean, I was at your panel yesterday, and he went, oh, I have a really bad memory, and I was like, I mean, <laughs> I'm trying to remember the exact phrase I used, which I think was, how many girls in wheelchairs were in your panel yesterday? And he, I was so thankful he laughed, um, because looking back, again, looking back, probably not the nicest thing to say to somebody you just met, um, but he found it very funny, and was like, I know, I'm sorry, I've just got, my memory's real bad, and I was like, whatever, and we ended up, um, fake yelling at each other, which was very funny, uh, and then I got all of that, and then I ended up leaving, and finally getting lunch. Since we had met Scott McNeil before, we ended up going, uh, to see his panel, because we felt kind of bad that we uh, didn't, you know, uh, we, we, we would have felt bad if we had met him and then not went to go see him. Um, I liked his panel a lot. I, since I wasn't super familiar, I didn't um, understand a lot of the jokes, but um, I found it very entertaining. He was, he's incredibly talented with his voice, and it was so interesting to see him sort of, you, you know, like, go into all these different voices and do all of these different things, and I was like, I cannot imagine, number one, having all that energy all the time, and then, or at least in front of a crowd for that long of a time, and then, number two, being able to do all of that, and it was an interesting experience, I guess to say, um, and I really enjoyed it, and then I, we went outside and got drinks and kind of hung out for a little bit, and we ended up seeing Robbie again, and he was with his girlfriend Megan, and he kind of spotted us and said hi, and we shook hands, and uh, was like, we'll see you later, and uh, we were like, okay, and uh, we ended up sort of chilling out there, which was really nice, uh, 
as nice as it was at the con, it was nice to kind of be outside. There was like a little bar. Um, I think they're like partners with the convention center. Um, and it was nice to kind of get down there because you got free refills if you kept your drink uh, cup, especially if it was soda, and that was really helpful and saved a lot of money. Um, but we kind of hung out down there, and then we finally uh, made it down to the lava show, which was mwah, mwah, the funniest thing I'd ever seen. Um, if you ever end up going to a a convention where there is one being held, I would highly recommend it, whether you know the three of them or not. Um, it was probably one of, if not the funniest experience I've ever had where I was legitimately in tears from crying and my stomach hurt after it was over. Um, it was like an hour or so long. Um, the con, uh, the, this particular one wasn't the full show, um, but it was, uh, it was so incredible. So, uh, I can't, I, I can't even go into detail about it. It was just so good. There were just so many good moments just thrown in that I will probably never forget. I say that and then I'm like, oh, but I can't. They're unforgettable, but also completely unexplainable to somebody that wasn't there because I ended up sort of telling friends about it and then I was like, telling somebody about it isn't that funny. And it, it, you had to be there. But they got us in early for that particular thing and we ended up uh, hanging out with Ray's dad, who was probably one of the sweetest people I've ever met. And we sort of chit-chatted with him and I ended up taking a picture with him. And um, I put the couple of pictures that I had on Twitter that day, including that one. And um, so the next day when we, um, when we had went to the signing because uh, at, I think this, but I don't know, it, it's different in every con, I know for sure. Um, for MetroCon, for instance, uh, you have to pay for it to get selfies with uh, whomever is at the con. Uh, Guest-wise, not just, not with anybody, just guest-wise. And um, I didn't have any money that second day uh, because we had spent it all on snacks to get, uh, you know, like actual uh, food to live on. Um, but we made sure to bring like actually, actually money, actual money. Uh, so we could go to vendors hall and whatever. And we went up to the lady and she was like, weren't you here yesterday? Which I thought was kind of a rude thing to say. But um, we were like, we're, we didn't take pictures yesterday. And she was like, you know, you have to pay for those, right? And I was like, yeah, that's why I didn't get any yesterday. And she was very happy with us, I don't think. Um, but we got to the back of the line and there was a girl who she had bought the Sailor Moon, um, bookmark at the vendors hall at some point and was going to get it signed for her sister by Robbie um who's a big fan of his and was going to get to her for Christmas and the line was capped we were at the end of the uh line cap and she really needed it and I was like I'll get it it's fine it's whatever um and a lot of people did not think it was whatever and that it was very nice and I I, I don't know if I'm just like my mom was like it's because you're too nice of a person because I didn't think it was such a big deal and I was like I feel like anybody would have done that right because it just it didn't seem like a big deal like I was already in line there was no reason she had like the card to get it to get like a free autograph like I didn't think it was like a big deal apparently the hugest deal we ended up kind of sitting there for like 30 minutes and uh just kind of looking at cosplays which was really fun and relaxing and we had actually gotten a little bit of food from what I remember or we were we were waiting to get food uh but luckily it wasn't quite as late as we had been last time um we finally got to the front of the signing thing and we ended up uh getting our selfies and when I was uh sort of chit-chatting with Max and I, I was like, I've got money to pay you. Um, I was like, because I didn't bring any yesterday. He was like, absolutely not. You're not paying for any. And I was like, yes, I am. And he was like, no, you're not. Uh, because you've been absolutely incredible. And you're uh, we're not going to make you pay to take pictures. And I was like, God, that is... They were just so nice. And even watching them behind the scenes, just like interacting with each other, uh, like, with as an audience, it was, I think it's so rare that you see the same kind of people, you know, like, in front of the audience that they need to impress, and then behind the scenes, and, you know, they were, they were setting up for, like, their live show the night before, they didn't really need to impress anybody, or to keep up any kind of appearance, appearance? I'm having a lot of, like, word issues today, appearance, and, 
to see these same genuine, incredibly nice, funny people in front of everybody and then behind where they didn't need to be. It was so nice. And it's so nice to see that, especially when I had heard a story of a girl in line who had met somebody incredibly famous and they were like kind of a dick to her. And I was like, oh my God. And it's so easy to like not be a dick, not like it's so easy to be a dick, I guess. But I don't know. It was, it was, they could have been, I guess, mean and been like real shitty about it, but they weren't. And that was really nice. And I ended up taking pictures with all of them. Um, but the picture with Ray Sad comes back into play when he, uh, when I finally got up to him and I got a shirt, um, that you can, uh, I'll put a better picture of it because you can't really see it on me. Um, I think you can buy this, uh, from them at their PayPal, I have to look into it. I'll put all the info like right here if you need, uh, want to buy one, I guess. Um, it's great, it's a great shirt. It's really comfortable. I'm just going to advertise this real quick. Uh, most of the shirts I always get are really stiff. This is very soft and I incredibly enjoy it and I would recommend getting one, especially because it, it's kind of silly. Uh, the art is done by one of the, uh, the Lava crew, one of the Lava uh, members, and I really like it. That's just really pro- That's um, but When we finally got to Ray, he had said to me that his mother had texted him about me, and I was very confused and was, uh, I didn't understand what he was talking about. And then he was like, the picture with my dad. And I was like, oh, that must be who had liked that picture and replied to it. And he was like, it was. And um, later on at the final panel, which had all of the voice actors that had stayed, um, his dad, we sat with him for that final panel and he had shown it to me and I was like, this is a weird series of events that I didn't expect to ever take place. Um, but it was funny and it was, they were all, and his dad was nice, he was so nice. Um, we ended up waiting for Robbie because uh, I didn't get to do the group pictures because we had to leave right after the live show. And they were so nice about it and we ended up waiting. And I, they just kind of like pushed me back like behind the tables just to kind of hang out. And it was so relaxing and just so chill. And seeing them in their element was really interesting and I incredibly enjoyed that. Um, and we finally got the pictures and we all kind of chit-chat and, and I gave Robbie the bookmark and he was like, that was so nice of you. And I was like, listen, I, I just continued to be where I, I was like, it wasn't a big deal. Like I just, I, I felt bad for this girl and I was, I was happy to give it to her and she was so thankful about it afterwards. Um, after we left, cause we got pictures and I was like, oh no, we thought we had lost her. And then she was like, I'm here. And I gave it to her and she was like, can I take a picture with you? Uh, you were so nice and I was like oh this is it was such an experience I never had before where I was like oh I, yeah sure which ended up being I think the rest of that day um because it was the one day I cosplayed as Kiki and I that ended up being a disaster on its own but a lot of people ended up liking what I threw together which was really nice and I'm glad that people liked it um but uh after that uh we went and we shopped and we got some stuff that I'm gonna put uh, here. Um, I didn't buy a lot, I just, I found that I'm really hard to impress. Uh, and I also didn't want to spend all of my money. Um, so we kind of, we were sparse about where we, where we got things. And, um, and then we had a couple panels and I ended up uh, messaging, I think Meg, to be like, hey, you should sit with us because there's no reason that you shouldn't. And we ended up uh, sitting with them and hanging out with them for basically the rest of the panels where we saw uh, Robbie and Christina who did a Sailor Moon Crystal panel which ended up just kind of being them, just being themselves and not answering specific Sailor Moon questions. Um, that was really fun. And then the final, um, the final voice actors panel was probably my second, if not my very first favorite. And uh, I'll, like I said, I'm gonna leave all of them down below. That is the one you absolutely should watch because it changed my life. And it was so funny and I'm so glad I got to be there for it. That was basically the end. We we left right after that um, and a huge storm hit Tampa and I was never glad to get out of the city uh, as I was after I saw videos after we left. It's so hard to fit every little detail um, of everything that happened. Um, I got to see some of the Mod Squad from the Lava team, uh, Carissa and uh, 
Cheese or Molly, as uh, she's also known as her real name, and uh, Scala, who they're all, I didn't get to see them much. We were all kind of running around. We've kind of concluded we were all so busy and tired that nobody really got the chance to hang out if we didn't make like a, an extreme effort. And I was, I've been kind of quiet, sort of just in general in the community. And I think this weekend really opened me up to that. And so we have a bunch of plans for EXP now, which is amazing and fantastic. And I'm gonna hopefully see Bag and Jen again sometime soon um, if I convinced them to go. Hopefully I did, because uh, I know they would be ecstatic to see the whole uh, Metal Fantasy 15 uh, Choga Bros cast. I keep doing this for some reason. <laughs> All of the guests I got to meet and hang out with and talk with, uh, especially Ray, Max, and Robbie, who I didn't, I didn't even know before. And they're so just incredible as people and so talented and dedicated to their craft. And this weekend in general, especially, and I would say just especially from them, just hearing them talk about experiences and talk about how they got to where they are was incredibly inspiring to do what uh, I had always, things that I would have been putting off or were too afraid to do or, and hearing, and especially, and even hearing it from people like, that were definitely not new to this industry, or not, or at least uh, definitely less new, like State Bloom and uh, the like, who talked about just everything. And just learning about the industry in general was incredibly interesting, but hearing from those three was incredibly great. And I don't think I've ever been more proud to support a group of people before, and I can't wait to see them again. I'm going to be seeing uh, at least Robbie and Ray again at EXP, which I'm really excited about. And uh, I'll be there with my friend Jessie, hopefully. hopefully. Hopefully she ends up going. We're going to be ended up doing a Luna and Noct cosplay. That's the plan. Um, and I'm really excited about it. But um, my show was amazing and fantastic. And uh, I am so excited to go next year already. Um, it's been exactly a week and I'm already like, oh man, I wish I was there. Because it was just, it was as tiring as it was and exhausted as it was when I got back. But this whole past week, I wouldn't have traded it for anything. And I'm excited to go again. Anyways, that's the wrap up for MetroCon uh, 2017. Um, uh, pictures were hopefully intertwined if I wasn't too lazy. Um, if not, I'll just link Twitter um, from when I uploaded them before. Um, I'll probably do another one of these for EXPCon, uh, but more Persona 3 Portable is on the way if you're interested. And uh, I uh, am editing the first series of uh, the first series, the first episode of the series I'm doing with Lauren, which will be going up uh, hopefully next Saturday. We had a bit of a technical difficulty when I recorded it because I was a big old dumb, but um, it should be going up pretty soon. And uh, that series I have planned, detention. Um, I decided I'm gonna release it during October since it's kind of spooky. Um, so that'll be happening. But for now, Persona. Persona, it's Persona all the time. Any kind of Persona. Uh, I'm buying a Vita soon, and I'm playing uh, Persona 4 Golden, and we're getting new Persona games! Ah, oh, how did I forget to... I didn't mention it on the podcast. Mentioning it here, I'm real excited. More Persona 3 in, in my life. I'm, I'm into it. I'm real ready. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and if you like me, or liked the con, or like content like this, you should hit that subscribe and like button down below. And if you want to, hit the little bell notification, because uh, YouTube's real bad about telling you when people you like upload. If if you want, you don't you don't have to, but if you would like to, that'd be real good. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.